So Newcastle are back to winning ways. We've got that winning feeling back in our lungs and my God, has it been a long time coming on the hollow turf of St. James's Park. But what I'm going to be talking about in this video is the importance of one man who came back in the team and how much of a difference he's made to us getting back to winning ways. I'm on you, Maggies. If you're curious Newcastle fans, you probably know what to do by now. Make sure you stick around for a lovely little dollop of black and white banter. <laughs> Welcome back to Black White Banter, you lovely Newcastle fans. I hope all is well. I hope you're having a good week. Anyone who's watching this, wherever you're watching it from, no matter what time of day it is, no matter what, what your week is looking like, Newcastle United have won a game of football at home for the first time since before Santa Claus came down the chimney. The 16th of December was the last time that happened. It's been way too long. A place that we have only known as a fortress under Eddie Howe has been breached, the fortress has been breached, but that was all put to bed on Saturday, and you've got to feel for that amazing bloke, Mr Singh, who walked all the way from Wolves to Newcastle to raise money for, for his dementia charity, he probably wished uh, that they'd showed up as well as he had all across that five days. Fair play to him, but my God, he probably expected a little bit more on the pitch from his Wolves, uh, his Wolves team, and it was, it was a comfortable afternoon, it really, really was, and we haven't had too many of them against the team. Let's not underestimate Wolves at all. As I said in my match, in the build-up to the match, they are a very good team that were above us in the table. They just won away at Tottenham, one of the Champions League chasers, so it was a great win. Um, Newcastle fans, if you're new round here, do me a little favour. Drop me a little likey, likey. Lou, that goes a very, very long way. It just means a couple more people might watch this video. And wouldn't that be nice? You know, imagine putting all your effort into editing a YouTube video to post it for people, a few, few more people to actually watch it. God, uh, I fancy someone wanting you to do that. Yes, it only takes you a second, so do it now. If you haven't done it yet, do it now. And if you like my opinion by the end of this, what that subscribe. I did do a, a vlog for Wolves, got to speak to some amazing fans after. Um, there was a lot of questions I asked them, including their thoughts on us getting a European place. So if you haven't already watched my match vlog, it's just a bit further down. And I'm going to apologise now as I make this video. I'm basically in that stage where I know that I am about to feel absolutely atrocious. I don't feel great right now. I've got this massive cold sore that looks like someone's just dolloped a full bottle of ketchup on my face, which is always a sign in my world that my immune system has closed up like Wolves' defence did on Saturday, and that means illness is coming, and I do not feel great at all. I'm recording this as it stands right now on Sunday night, and I just know something is brewing. Uh, and shout out... <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the Newcastle fan in the Gallagher queues to get in for digital ticketing who was chatting away to us and he told us I had some ketchup on my face. <laughs> His awkwardness when I told him it was a cold so I wasn't bothered. His awkwardness was hilarious. It was like just he'd like he just told a woman, uh, asked a woman uh, how many how many weeks gone they were when they weren't even pregnant. That was the face I got. Yes, it looks hideous, but yes, I am feeling like a bag of shite. So if I do sound a bit sniffly on this video, I apologise. So I'm just going to get straight into this one. We got back to winning ways. We changed a couple of things tactically, which I wrote about in my last word blog on Facebook uh, and Twitter. And I've posted it on YouTube if you want to go to my written posts. There was a lot of things anyhow changed because we needed to change something because we have been leaking goals like there is no tomorrow, literally like the Titanic going down is what our defences looked like more recently. Botman came back in, Willock came back in, and yes, we can talk about dropping a little bit deeper, and I'm not going to talk about that on this video. The man I want to talk about is that man exactly who I've just mentioned, Joe Willockini, yo, he's fucking magic, and don't you fucking know, I'm in field maestro, Joe Willockini, yo. He was, the, he was the biggest thing I took away from the match. And yes, Bruno pulled the strings. Bruno looked every bit of class that we know Bruno is. Fabian Shea was pinging balls that he probably could have played with a blindfold on. Anthony Gordon ran himself into the ground until the last minute of the match. Again, that man has just got an engine like no other. He's going to be getting drug tested soon, I've got no doubts. But Joe Willock coming back into our midfield three was the key in what I saw as a different performance for so many reasons. 
I have said for a long time now that Mr. Miley, Mr. Longstaff and Mr. Bruno individually all have their own qualities. You know, Miley is only 17 years old. His qualities are only going to keep growing. God, we haven't even seen half of his qualities. But as a three together, it's restrictive. And we are not going to pull up any trees in football matches with that in this formation that Eddie Howe likes to play. So what do I mean by that? Well, Joe Willock came in, Miley came out for a rest, which I think is probably needed. You do not want a lad of that age in the situation we've been in to be playing as much football. Some would say it's a good thing for me. I think he still needs nurturing a little bit. Uh, Willock came in, and w- w- what did that open up? We saw them runs down the left-hand side. What you get in Joe Willock is athleticism and dynamism and a carrying of the football, a dribbling and a ball carry that none of the other three, Bruno, you can argue to a degree, has it in his locker, but not with the same level of pace and agility as what Joe Willock has. And him and Joe Linton, who unfortunately is not going to be seen probably for the rest of the season, I've got no doubt he's going to sign his new contract. Bloody hell. He probably drinks in the garden every week. He loves Newcastle that much. He's pretty much an adopted Geordie. We're not going to see him, but what them players bring is those runs down the left-hand side. Those runs into the box at every opportunity. And we saw it time after time after time on Saturday. And I'm going to share some images of exactly what I'm talking about. Dan Byrne, who is not known for his attacking threat, apart from that wonder goal he scored against Leicester last season, was given a golden opportunity because of Joe Willock. Dragon Wolves defenders, left, right, you name it, they were having more headaches than they could deal with because Joe Willock along with Gordon, along with Isaac, along with Jacob Murphy, was dragging players out. And when you chuck a deeper midfielder in a mix of a front three, that's when defenders have problems because they have to deal with four and that opens up space for anyone else because there's only four defenders normally in a team to drive into those space that that opens up. And Dan Byrne did exactly that. And look at this. Look at Joe Willick making the run down that left-hand side. The, the, the defender gets dragged. Look at Dan Byrne and the space it freed up. Absolutely brilliant to see. It was exactly what we've been missing. And I'm going to go back. I'm going to show you a photo from our performance against Luton when our midfield three was, of course, Longstaff, Miley and Bruno. Look, what look where they are in an attacking phase of play. All very deep because they are all much the same of the same. And I'm not discredit Longstaff. I know Longstaff makes runs, as he did against Luton, and he puts the ball in the back of the net from time to time. He does support our attack, but not in the same way Joe Willock does. Look at Joe, what Joe Willock did under Steve Bruce when we, when we first had him on loan, how many goals he scored. He is great in those positions. Look what he did against Arsenal, and look what he did against on Saturday, which I'll share now, that header that he probably should have done better with. He was disappointed. That was a good chance. And that was from a long and run in the box. We saw support for Dan Byrne down the left-hand side from Joe Willock on Saturday. His engine looked great to say he's not even fully fit. And having him, not only that, it frees up more options for Mr. Bruno. Bruno dropped deeper. We know he's always looking to ping a pass. And when Joe Willock supports the attack, carries that ball up the pitch... It opens up space, as I've already talked about, where Bruno can pick lots of different people. Anthony Gordon can have a field day because Joe Willock will, will pull uh, the fullback like, like he did for Dan Byrne. Isaac will be able to move into more little pockets of space by the runs that Joe Willock and Joe Linton make. And let's go back to last season. Let's share a photo of last season and exactly what we saw so much that was so successful in everything we did. We saw Joe Willock and Joe Linton constantly making runs in the box. Yes, I've taken this from our 6-1 demolish, uh, demolition of Tottenham. That was one of the much, much, much better days in a great season. But it's still proof of what they bring. They are so different to Longstaff, Miley and Bruno. It is not even... It's mad. They are opposite ends of the scale. And on that note, I'm going to share some stats for you on the screen to compare our midfielders. For anyone who's still watching this video who does not believe me and does not agree with me, this is Joe Willock in the matches he's played this season. Look at his his ball carry. Look at his dribbles on that spider chart. Now let's look at the midfielders who I've just talked about, your Miley's, your Longstaffs, and see what there's. First up, let's look at Lewis Miley. Look how different his numbers are. And again, we are not bashing anyone here. We are talking about what Joe Willock offers us. 
Look how different they are. Let, now let's look at Sean Longstaff's numbers this season. Let's look at Sean Longstaff's. There you go. Again, totally opposite. Nothing in that high section of ball carry or dribbling. And of course, Bruno, who is so integral to everything we do. Just on a side note of this video, let's have a look at his. And his are just ridiculous. It's not even a spider graph. It's basically a full pizza. Um, that man literally can do it all. And the numbers show it. Newcastle fans... Joe, Joe Willer coming back into this team, not only has he got one of my favourite chants of all time, he is a player who this team has been craving for so long, along with a fully fit Joe Linton, which we might have to just wait till next season. It is imperative that we wrap this man in cotton wool if we are going to finish this season strong. In this system that Eddie Howe wants to play, we did lots of things differently, which I'll talk about on another video on Saturday, which was really interesting. He did change his tactics, but Joe Willer coming back in, Worked an absolute treat. I said at the start of the match that it was an old school field the last season. Longstaff, Bruno, Joe Willock. And that for me was exactly what we saw. It was exactly what we saw. Keep Joe Willock fit. Keep him in this team, in this system. And Newcastle might stand a chance. Those passports might be needed. Let us know your thoughts, uh, Newcastle fans. If you found this interesting, do you agree? Or do you think I'm making something or nothing? I'd be very, very curious to find out. I'm going to go and die in bed. Uh, I've got a pack of lemon, lemon chips I've just bought from the shop because I am feeling my head is pounding more and more and more as I make this video. But I had so much to say about Joe Willock, I wanted to get it recorded. Enjoy the rest of your week, Newcastle fans. Hopefully you might see me again if I do not end up in a coffin with whatever this feels like it is coming on in my head. And I'll see you on the next video. How are you? Joe Willock's mags. How are you, lads? Yeah.